Okay, I'm making this video to help the folks who have asked me how I did this and wired it. What I'm doing is I took a Flare Vu Pro right here and I incorporated it into a mobile self-contained nice little self-powered unit so I can attach that camera to my Inspire Pro 1 and also I can attach it to many other uh, of my drones. Uh, I've got three other drones that can use the GoPro mount. Uh, the only thing, uh, you don't have a gimbal to control it, but we're not talking high definition video here. Uh, and I've tried to use gimbals. I've gone through two different gimbals in the past, uh, last summer, and I burned them both up trying to convert them to, to work with the flare view. Uh, and I would expect we'll start seeing gimbals designed especially for uh, the VU to mount on um, different quads and clump, uh, drones. All right, so the questions I get is, what kind of cable did you use? What kind of mount? What kind of battery, et cetera, et cetera? Well, through a system of trial and error, I wanted this to be totally self-contained unit, so I bought a, uh, I already had a Fat Shark battery, and I bought a spare one. It's a um, LiPo, I guess you'd call it a, a two-cell battery. It's 7. Point, uh, what is it, 7.4 volts. I guess I wrote down in my um, blog that it was 7.2 volts. Anyway, the battery, it's got a little bit too much voltage for the Flare Vu that is supposed to use five volts. Uh, I think you can go up to about 6 volts, but I didn't want to fry the VU, so I incorporated a basically what I would call a voltage regulator. It's it's a little gizmo called a UBC, UBEC, and this one is has dual voltage. I got it set for 5 volts, so basically the battery using the connector pin connector that came with and on already installed on the Fat Shark battery, which is one of the reasons I like it. And I, I used the female end of that connector and wired it into a cable that goes to the power supply to the UBEC from the battery. So the battery connects to the positive and negative on the UBEC. The power from the UBEC is then tied into powering the camera and powering the transmitter. And for a video transmitter, I'm using the, the small or the, the AVL58 Lite. It's a DJI video transmitter. You have to buy an antenna and I, use, I, bought, I bought a uh, the clover leaf style antenna. Everything is attached. I, I made these cables myself. I bought a GoPro cable. That's a big question. And what kind of cable do you use? Okay, I'm a little sorry about this video quality. I'm using my iPhone. Okay, this is a typical GoPro cable. You can buy on eBay or from hobby shops. And basically, I'm only concerned about four wires on that cable. That cable powers the battery, it fits into the VU opening, and their directions will also tell you to use a GoPro uh, cable. And that GoPro cable has basically four wires. It's got, and I did a sketch here, your GoPro cable is going to have a negative and positive for the power. It's got a video negative wire and a video out wire. So it's actually got four wires that need to be connected. And to do that, you take those wires and from my AVL58, it has a multiple pin plug 
as you can see on the end. And I'm, I'm using several of the wires, but there's two of the wires on that plug that are not needed. And it's a plug that came with the transmitter and I cut it to size and soldered, spliced the appropriate wires to all the wires I needed. So what I did, I took that AVL58 cable, but now you can use any video transmitter. That was another question. Uh, I'm not sure of other transmitters. This just happens to be a video transmitter. I have the only other ones I've worked with are ones that came on my racing drone and also a Fat Shark uh, FPV camera and transmitter kit that I have. But I chose to use the AVL58 made by DJI. And to do that, you have to splice. If you can't solder, you probably need to have a friend do this for you. You need good soldering skills. But you take your uh, the wires from that transmitter cable. Uh, and I have two of these transmitters and the cables have slightly different colors. So contrary to popular color code, yellow is usually for video. Well, in this case, the yellow cable is actually a negative power cable. And the black cable is also a negative power cable. So you splice those two cables together and they become negative. You take your green cable and your white cable, which are also both positive cables, and you splice them together. You do not use the red or black cable or combination of red and black cable. It's not used in this case, you can cut them off. The brown cable is not used in this case, you can cut that off. But don't cut any wires till you're absolutely sure because I don't know how many different combinations of colors uh, DJI has come out on these cables. I have two and they have slightly different colors. So sometimes you've got to experiment uh, to find out which one's which. The gray or blue cable in my case is the video out to, uh, it, you connect, it's actually the video in connection which comes from the video out of the camera. The purple is video negative which connects to the video negative of the camera. So on the camera, on this GoPro cable, I connected the positive to the positive uh, cables from the transmitter over here. And I also connected the GoPro negative cable to the two negative cables coming off the transmitter. So they're all tied in together. So you take those negative wires that are bundled together and you attach them to your negative coming off your battery or your, your, B, your the UBEC or whatever power, five volt power source you got. Now this transmitter can use uh, even 14 volt batteries, but I, I prefer just using the, the UBEC and controlling the voltage at five volts. Uh, so you connect all your positive wires to your positive coming off your battery or your UBEC. And the same thing with negative, all the negative bundles go to the negative power source. Now, that's not to be confused with the video negative cable coming off the GoPro. That, that goes to the purple wire or the transmitter or the video negative wire to whatever transmitter you're using. And the video out of the GoPro camera goes to the video in, which in this case is a gray or blue wire on the uh, AVL. 58. So that's basically how I connected this all up. It's really sweet because I, I can put it on anywhere you can mount a GoPro camera. You can mount this thermal imaging camera. It's really cool. I can mount it on four different drones that I own and I think it works best with the Inspire. So I'm going to go ahead and install this on the Inspire uh, stop the video here, and I will show you what it all looks like when it's put Okay, together. I attached the GoPro to the uh, Inspire One, uh, the GoPro connector, or I guess you call it the, the mount, GoPro mount. And I, I 
typically always have my gimbal camera, the X5 camera that came with the Inspire One Pro. So you got to aim your flare camera down or you're going to get the back of the gimbal of the camera on the drone uh, since I use two cameras. Now I used a little bit of Velcro on here on the cable so I attached that right here. I take the battery which has Velcro on the back side and I install it in this fashion. Try to balance everything out. Bring my cables, tuck them in, keep them away from the props. So that's stuck on there. Then the cable, when you power up the camera, you simply plug it in. And you can see the camera is warming up. And when the blue light comes on, it means you have your Bluetooth available to work the app. Set does all the settings on the camera. So you have to refer to your flare manual to know how to work your app. Uh, and you wait for the green light to come on. I'll let you know that uh, the camera is ready to go. There it is. The blue light means you can use the Bluetooth control uh, of the app to, to adjust all your camera settings in camera form, video format and whatnot. And the green light just tells you it's ready to go. Uh, and you can either manually press that to start recording before you take off from the ground or use your mobile app to start the recording when your drone is in the air. I don't know how far away you can get to have the Bluetooth work. I just pretty much set it up on the ground and and then I edit the video at a later time. I aim my antenna down. Since your drone's flying above you, that's probably the best signal source you're gonna get and it's away from the props. And that's basically it. I'll uh, try to give you a view of how this all fits on the drone. I mounted the GoPro mount. Let me tip this over a little bit. As you can see, underneath here I've got, I use two-sided tape that I also used uh, a couple wire tie wraps that go around the frame of the Inspire One battery storage area, battery area. And you have to make sure the battery will slide all the way down with that those tie wraps and still click or else your battery's not gonna be clicked in and connected real well. It could actually pop out and you'd, it'd be a disaster, you'd lose power. And that's what holds the GoPro mount to the Inspire One. Folks might find other ways to do that. I didn't want to glue it. Uh, I figured I have the wire wraps and the tape is, a, is good enough. The Velcro is good enough to hold the battery and the cable in place. The cables have all been trimmed and I used uh, heat shrink tubing to, to insulate the cables and wrap them up nice, neat, and tight. Uh, this little green round metal thing is actually uh, incorporated with the UBEC. It avoids uh, some of the electronic interference you can get through the voltage supply onto the video transmission. So, so far I haven't had any issues with that. Now I don't know why I must have bumped. There we go, now we're back ready to go. Um, I can't think of any other questions to answer at this time. But as you can see, I lift up the drone. That's, I'll get other videos of this as I use it more and it's up in the air. But that's how I attached the Vu Pro to my Inspire One Pro.
it was pretty simple. I'm, I'm kind of proud of myself for making this gizmo. If you go online, you look at the ridiculous prices a lot of companies are selling. Uh, their services where you have to send them your drone or buy the whole drone and the flare camera from them. And usually they're overseas in Europe. And uh, hey, you know, do it yourself. If you can do it yourself, it's great. And this way I can use this camera on other drones. Uh, I use it on my ice bike tank. I can put it on my hard hat at work. I can mount it on my bicycle handlebars. Anywhere you can mount a GoPro, I can mount that Flare Vu camera. It's really cool. And it's all self-contained with the transmitter and the power source. So it's real easy to switch from drone to drone, from application to application. All right, that's it for now. Hope this helps anybody.